Welcome back to Kylo's Superhero Stretch Routine, part two. In this video, we'll be doing a strength training routine. What is that, a superhero strength training routine, you ask? That's right, folks, even superheroes need to train. Whether they're heading into battle or jumping into action, you may be surprised to see your favorite superhero pumping it out at the gym. But even the greatest of these heroes, they know they can't help protect those that they love if they themselves are not well. So, in today's session, we'll be focused on providing your body with a little bit of a strength booster to help you continue to fight and help others. Whether you prefer the versatility of free weights or the compact size of resistance bands, here's a general strength routine to get you started. So, let's start off by taking off our cape and throwing it away. So, first things first, let's work on our core. So, abdominal bracing, this is a very important point that we need to go with us through every single transition in every exercise. And our core is our powerhouse of the whole body. So you think of it as your foundation. It keeps you strong, it keeps you grounded. If you have a wobbly core, the rest of it will fall apart. So let's work on our core. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Always remember to keep breathing during resistance training. When you stop breathing, your blood pressure climbs up and you start to turn a little blue. <laughs> so, when we're doing this, keep breathing. You wanna brace your core, squeeze as tight as you can. Pretend someone's about to punch you in the stomach. You have that really solid, um, nice core. And yeah, just hold it for a couple of seconds. This is a nice one that you can do um, at your office or walking throughout your day keeping your core engaged, help activate those muscles. And you'll feel that, you know, the next day you might be a little sore, which means, hey, you work that muscle group a little bit more than you did before. Okay, so that's embracing our core. The next exercise that we're going to do, we're going to grab a weight, any weight you prefer. I'm just using a light one because um, most people will start off very light, going through the form and the motion. And then over time, you build the weight as you see fit. So, for those who are um, getting started, how do you pick a weight? Just grab whichever one you see in front of you, between five and 10 pounds, and the one that you feel that you're able to do 10 repetitions of, that's your perfect weight. If you're going to 15, 20, maybe bring it back a little bit by adding a heavier weight. And if you feel like you can't make it to seven, it's really, really challenging, and you're losing your form, then in that case, you need to go a little bit lighter. Okay, so three is a sweet spot just to start out. And when you're ready, you can begin to add more. So first, arm that we're, first exercise that we're doing is a single arm row. And this exercise is very important for your upper back and for your posture. So if you have a chair, place that in front of you. And to get started, you're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart. Take one step forward and with the opposite arm, you're gonna be holding the weight. Then you're gonna have a slight bend in the forward leg, and if you need to, you can slide your back leg even further back. Now we're in a somewhat of a lunge position. If you can, if you feel comfortable, start to bring your torso towards the floor and let your arm hang so that we're in this position. From here, we're going to raise our elbow back to 90 degrees and then relax. Raise back to 90 degrees, and then relax. One more time, back, and relax. Remember, what you do to one side, you should always do to the other. So if you have to turn around and bring the chair the other way, that works too, okay? So let's do it once more. Remember, how do we get set up? You take one step forward with your opposite leg and bring that leg back, okay? Once you're in this lunge position, you can start to bring your torso closer to the floor and let your arm hang. And in a moment, you're gonna raise your arm as far back as you can, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then relax. One more time. Remember to keep breathing. Inhale during Challenging. Inhale when it's easy, exhale when it's hard. 
So take a deep breath in and exhale as you go back. Take a deep breath in and exhale as you go back. As you continue doing this exercise, make sure your chest is not starting to open to the side. You want your head and your eyesight facing down or just out in front of you, but you never want to look up like so. So you're maintaining a neutral posture throughout the exercise. Okay? So that's our first exercise with the weight. The second one will be focusing on our triceps. The triceps are a smaller muscle group, so you may need to switch out the weight in between. If you have a lighter weight at home, go grab one. If not, you can use a water bottle or something like that, and it'll be a little easier. All right. So for this one, we'll return and resume into our previous position. Instead of having our end pose up here, our end pose will be all the way back here. So in our previous exercise, this was the start and this was the end. In this one, we're starting here and ending here. Okay. Do a couple more of those and make sure you switch sides. The next one that we're doing is shoulder flexion. So feet shoulder width apart, standing nice and tall, similar to our power pose as a superhero. Always keep your knees a little bit soft just to protect them. And you're gonna raise this arm up slowly and relax. Once more, up slowly and relax. For you to see it from this side. Now you don't need to bring your arm past this point. You don't have to go all the way up. Just till here is perfectly fine. If you do have any rotator cuff issues, instead of bringing your palm facing down, you can keep your palm neutral and just do it this way. Okay. The next one that we're doing is the one that you see everyone at the gym doing, bicep curl. All the way up, all the way down. This time, slow it down. So it's about three seconds, three, two, and one on the way up, and four on the way down. Four, three, two, and one. Don't forget to breathe. So we're exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. To remember, take a deep breath before you start. Deep breath. And exhale. Deep breath. And exhale. Okay. The next one that we're going to do is a plank. So we're going to turn our chair back around and do it this way. Okay. So we already worked on bracing our core. That's just a basic start for maintaining a strong core. The next part we're going to be doing is an elevated plank. I don't want you diving right into the floor and getting your hands dirty right away. Just start off with something nice and simple against an elevated surface. So feet shoulder width apart. You wanna keep your body as straight as you possibly can and avoid dipping downwards or keeping your bum up too high. Just somewhere in, the be in between. Hold and then relax. Every time you do a plank, you'll go further and further. Start off with five, 10, 15 seconds and then try and build it up to a minute. And you never know, maybe you'll, you'll be there for 10. <laughs> So moving on from our plank, now we're gonna head to the wall and do a wall push up. Okay, so just take a step onto the wall and you wanna have a nice straight body, bringing your hands just in front of you and then slowly go towards the wall and then press away. Now some people will do the push up with their arms way out here. It's not, not very comfortable, it's a little awkward. And then you can also bring your arms in and do more of a tricep push-up, working on the back. 
So there are different variations, but for now, let's just start with a neutral position. And once more. Okay, so that's our wall push-up. Now we're gonna be doing a mini squat or um, a wall squat. So to start off with a squat, I always like to bring a chair, have it in front of us. And this one is easy to do at home. It's very functional, um, part of our activities of daily living. So you can start off by having a seat, feeling nice and comfortable. Bring yourself towards the edge of the chair and then slowly stand up, okay? Now, the second time you go down, instead of sitting completely, you're just gonna hover over the top of the chair and then stand. Hover over the top of the chair and then stand. And this might look different for everyone, depending on where you may have tighter muscles. So for myself and my calves, you may or may not have a perfect squat, and that's okay. The key thing is to just get started. Next one that you can do is a wall slide. So you're gonna place your back against a wall, take a couple steps forward, and then you're gonna slide down. Okay, and this is a nice one to do. You can either just sit here for a few seconds or you can bring yourself back up. Sit for a few seconds and then slide back up. Once again. Okay. We have two more left for this routine. You're gonna go back to your chair and you're gonna bring your hip, your, your leg, sorry, as far back as you can without moving your hip forward. So you're gonna slowly bring one leg back, stop here, and then relax. For many people, this is what ends up happening. And you wanna try and avoid doing that by engaging your core the best that you can. So take another deep breath in before you start. Engage your core and exhale. Deep breath in. Engage your core and exhale. One more time. Deep breath in, engage your core, and exhale. Okay, last one for today. We're gonna to be doing some heel raises. Just keep your hands off the edge of the backrest of the chair, feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna stand up on your tippy toes and back down. Up, and back down. Up, and back down. And this one is very important for gait, for walking. So when you step forwards, every time you push off while you walk, you're using your, <laughs> you're using your calf muscles. So this one strengthens those muscles and helps you to propel forward better. And that concludes today's superhero strength routine. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you the next time. Take care.